Hello everybody, welcome to P at Home with Mr. Holmes. Today we're going to be playing one of everyone's favourite games, Crazy Golf. What are we going to need to play? Well, we're going to need a small ball, like a tennis ball, I've got a cricket ball. You're going to need something to mark a starting position for your crazy golf holes. I've got myself a cone, but anything you can use to put on the floor and mark the starting point. And then you're going to need to make a hole. Now don't go digging up your parents' garden. Here's some ideas I've got for holes for you. A target, which if the ball hits, that counts as going in the hole. A smaller target to make it harder for you. If the ball hits that, that counts as going in the hole. Or what I'm going to use today, I've got a piece of string, I've tied it up in a circle, and I'll be able to put that on the ground, and the ball will have to end up in the string in order to finish the hole. Hopefully you can use your garden, if not the ball's going to stay on the floor so you can use a safe space indoors with your parents' permission. What am I looking for today then? I'm looking for opposite foot forwards, toes pointing the direction you want the ball to go, fingers following through and pointing towards the target. I'm going to show you three levels of crazy golf holes that you can try and create and then I'm looking for some imagination for you to create some interesting ones at home. We we'll start with level one. And on level one, you need your starting cone, you need a ball, and you need a medium-sized target. Choose where you're going to put them in the garden. I'll go and set mine up, and then I'll show you it before we start to see how it works. So here's my crazy golf hole. My starting point is here. My finishing point is that garden gnome over there, and I'm not allowed to go over the stones. So I'm going to start here. I'm going to have to work my way through the garden and then round this corner to hit that gnome. Let's see how we get on. Good shot there, I gave myself a chance to get there in two. Remember in golf, wherever the ball stops, that's where you take the next shot from. You can't stop the ball before it stopped rolling. I managed it in two shots. Remember, pointing your toes, pointing your fingers. Let me show you hole number two. Here's my starting point for hole number two. Notice I've started down on my patio this time. And I'm also going to start creating some more obstacles. So in order to get to the grass where my hole is, which is right at the back over there, I've first got to get up this ramp. Um, so I'm probably not going to be able to get over from this angle. I'll have to create a better angle in order to then get over the ramp. So once I've done that, I'm going to come up the ramp and then I'm going to have to work my way down the garden and I've also made the target smaller to make it harder for me and that's what I'm aiming for. The other rule I'm going to put for myself now is that if the ball has any of the sides, that's a shot penalty. I've got to be really careful with my weight of roll to keep it away from the sides of the garden. Let's see how many shots I can do this tricky hole in. Well, that hasn't gone very well. I'm not going to be able to get up the ramp now. I'm going to give myself another go at getting up that ramp. Now that the ball stopped, I should give myself a chance from here. Just. That's three shots up to here. Remember, I can't hit the sides um, anymore. I'm going to try and get to my target at the end of the garden. That's three shots up to there. Let's see if I can do it in four. Not quite enough pace. It's going to be a five shot hole. And there we go, five shots. That was a tough one. I'd probably try that a few times to see if I can improve on my score. Let's show you how I'm going to set up hole number three. Okay, let me take you through hole number three. For this one, we're doing the same route as the one before, but we've added some extra things in. So take a look. I'm going to start from here. I'm going to work my way up the ramp just like before. But then, we now have obstacles in the garden. And for this round, if I hit any of those obstacles, that's going to be a shot added to my score. Remember, in golf, we want the lowest score possible. So after the ramp, I need to navigate round the chairs and the bucket 
over towards the hole. Now, I can either choose the difficult way through the gap that I've made there with the obstacles, or I can try and go the easy way, but the longer way, around the washing line. Let's see how we feel when we get there. And we get to the finish. Instead of a target this time, we've got our string down there, which the ball needs to be in or touching. Let's see how we get on. You know, so see from there, I just missed the bent bucket, so I'm on three shots at the moment. Let's see what I decide to do. I think I'm going to go through the string. I've got a line on it. Let's have a look. Through the obstacles, I mean. Yes, got through. Let's see if I can. Not quite touching that. So, there we go. So there you have it. I think you'll really enjoy making your crazy golf courses and see if you can beat everyone else in your family. I certainly enjoyed it. I'd love to see some photos and videos of your course designs. Um, so send them in on Teams, Woodlands Children. Good luck, have fun, see you soon.